New concerns about Ford Explorers, the Center for Auto Safety demanding a recall over fears of carbon monoxide leaks that could affect 1.3 million vehicles. ABC's Diane Macedo is here with those details. Good morning, Diane. Good morning, Robin. This all started when thousands of police Ford Explorers got pulled off the roads because of carbon monoxide concerns. Now, Ford says the issue there wasn't the vehicles themselves and civilian models are fine. But the Center for Auto Safety says given how potentially dangerous or even deadly they could be, the company needs to issue a recall. This morning, Ford is under pressure to recall over 1.3 million Ford Explorers. Amid a federal investigation into reports of potentially deadly carbon monoxide leaks, the carmaker has offered a free service to reduce the potential for exhaust risks. But Ford says it's only doing this to create peace of mind and that its own investigation found the cars are safe. Now the automotive giant is getting calls from the Center for Auto Safety to do more. The Consumer Safety Organization is urging Ford to issue a full recall for all Explorers made between 2011 and 2017, writing in a statement, with something this potentially dangerous, the responsible step is a full recall, and if Ford will not do it, NHTSA should step in. What our larger concern is, is that this, they put it as a repair program as opposed to a recall. Carbon monoxide can kill people. It kills almost 400, over 400 people a year in the United States. Across the country, a version of the SUV created specially for police departments has already been taken off the road by the thousands. We need to remove these vehicles from service immediately. Officer-involved crashes like this one caught on dashboard camera in California are blamed on exposure to the colorless, odorless gas. I began to get a severe headache and began to feel nauseous. Watch as he plows over the median, crossing multiple lanes, then crashing into a tree. Over the summer, Austin pulled its fleet of nearly 600 modified explorers after 60 officers filed official complaints about fumes in their vehicles. I almost hit a bus and scared the out of me. Now Ford says the issue with those police vehicles were modifications made by the police departments after they purchased them. As for the new demands for a recall, the company says it's confident in its current methods for identifying and addressing potential vehicle issues. George? Okay, Diana Sato, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.